So today's work is on, um, we're still in chapter 16, solving linear equations. So I have split up solving linear equations into five sections, okay? And um, you have videos for all of them, obviously. So, um, three, four, yeah, and then the most recent one was five, okay? And the last part in this chapter is um, solving word problems using linear equations. So. I know this was a bit of an issue kind of earlier in the year where I kind of give you all the skills to do something but as soon as I put words on it and turn it into a word problem and um, there were issues and um, now this is this is quite challenging like as in I think once you get the hang of it it's fine but translating math or from English to maths can be hard okay so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through this try and like talk through the language, some of it you probably know, and um, others you might need to make a note of, okay? All right, so let x be a number. The number is doubled. So is doubled means you're gonna multiply it by two, okay? That's what doubled means, it means multiplying by two. And then seven is added. Now that's, I think that's quite clear, that doesn't really need to be translated, that's a plus seven, seven is added, okay? And for part A here, they want us to write an expression, okay? So they said x is a number, and they want us to, actually, I might just let me do that in a different color. Okay, so x is my number that I'm going to start with. Now, the number is doubled, so I multiply that number by 2, and 7 is then added, plus 7. Okay, now we tend not to write when you multiply x by 2, this is not how we write it. When you multiply x by 2, we write it like this. Okay, that's how we've written it all the time. Like if you want to multiply x by 3, you don't write x multiplied by 3, you just write 3x. Remembering that the relationship here between the 2 and the x is a multiplication. Okay, so I wouldn't, it's fine to write it like that as you're translating, but then fix it. So x multiplied by 2 is written as 2x plus 7. So for part A, we were asked to write an expression in terms of x for the resulting number. There's my expression. Okay. When the number is doubled, doubled, and 7 is added, 7 is added, the result is now here. The result is 29. That in maths is equals 29. The result is, is the same as equals. Okay. So now they want us to write an equation. Okay, so if you remember right back when we started, an expression is when you have terms, constants, and terms with variables, but no equals. Now they want to turn it into an equation, which means they want us to include the equals. So we write 2x plus 7, and the result is equals 29. And the last part is use this equation to find the number x. If we're going to find the number x, what they're asking us to do is solve for x. And if you remember, I've said it a few times, if you want to solve for something, you must isolate that something. All right? Okay, so now the actual math of this is easier than what we've been doing recently. So we're trying to isolate this. So the first thing we do, I'm just gonna stick my line in. Um, mm, uh, first thing we want to get rid of is the plus 7, so we do that with the opposites, which is a minus 7. If you do a minus 7 here, you have to do a minus 7 here, that will take that out. So I have 2x equals, and 29 minus 7 is 22. Okay? Then I have x multiplied by 2, so to get rid of the 2, I do the opposite, which is to divide by 2. If you divide by 2 here, you have to divide by 2 here. Okay, and 22 divided by 2 is 11. So let x be a number, that number was 11. Okay, so solving that last part, you know, we're going back there to maybe linear equations 3 or something before there were any brackets in it. Um, the actual solving is a lot easier than what you've been doing recently, but obviously you have to get from all these words to an equation. Okay? We'll try another one. I have lost the book. No, found it again. Um, so there's another example in your book, so we'll have a look at this. Okay. 
Okay, so Heather is X years of age. Bob is six years older. Now, here's language. Six years older, that's plus six. So if you are 13, so you are 13 years old and your brother is six years older if you were trying to work out how old your brother is you would do the 13 and add on the six okay so when they say six years older you're adding okay so that's a bit of language there six years older is addition okay and here we are writing expression okay so we start with Heather's X and Bob is six years older Okay, the sum, here's language again. Now we did talk about this during the year. Sum is add. Okay, the sum of their ages is 42. Okay, so let's write it. So we have Heather's age plus Bob's age equals 42. Agree? That's what it says, the sum of their ages, and I told you sum means add. So if you add Heather's age and Bob's age, you get 42. So what's Heather's age? Heather is X years of age. So in place of Heather, we put in X. Plus, what's Bob's age? So Bob is six years older than Heather, so this is how old Bob is. X plus six. So Heather's age, plus Bob's age equals 42. <coughs> okay? Um, yeah, so Heather is X, and then Bob is six years older, which, which means he is whatever Heather is, plus another six years. Okay, so this is Heather's age, and then I don't want to put a bracket in, but that bit there is Bob's age. Okay, I'm just going to take that bracket back out, because you don't need it. Okay, so Heather's age plus Bob's age equals 42. Now they want us to solve the thing, uh, the equation and figure out how old they are. Okay, so we have a couple of invisible ones here. Okay, and we can simplify. So this and this are part of the same family, so they can be simplified. Oh, that's a marker. Um, so 1x and 1x, uh, that makes a total of 2x's. And then I have the plus 6, and then I have the equals 42. Okay, you're just using the maths that you know how to do. Where did that line go? Why is that not working? Oh. Okay, so let's try and figure this out. Go back to draw. Okay, so we want to isolate the x which means we need to get rid of the six. You do it with the inverse operation. So it's a plus six, so we do minus six. Take that out. Minus six must be balanced. So the two X is still here. And then 42 minus six is 36. And here the X is being multiplied by two. So we divide it by two, both sides. And they cancel, so I've got the X. And then 36 divided by 2 is 18. So x is 18. Heather is x years old. So we know that Heather is 18 years old. And what was his name? Bob. Bob is 6 years older than her. So Bob is going to be 18 plus 6 which means he's 24 years old. Okay, now they are tricky, okay? So like, read through them a couple of times, try and see, can you figure out how I turned the words into maths? Um, I'm gonna give you maybe two to do for homework. Um, I suppose my big thing here is everything up to now that we've done in algebra is like an absolute must, like, you have to be able to do it. It's going to appear all over your paper. It's quite important. 
I'm not saying that this isn't important, but you will get like one of these on your junior cert. Okay, so it wouldn't be a game changer if you got it wrong. Okay, so I don't want you getting massively stressed out about these questions. Um, everything we've done up to now in terms of the quantity and how much they come up on the paper is far more important. Okay, but give this a good go and I think one or two questions, I'll have a look at what they have in the book. All right.